hi friends welcome to video lectures if you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and today's topic is on elasticity i am karna majit narayan rao assistant professor vijayanagara college hospete now we shall have an introduction to this topic anything which occupies space in the universe is called as matter matter exists in three states namely solids liquids and gases solids they have definite shape and volume for example iron copper wood etc liquids on the other hand they have definite volume but no definite shape they take the shape of the container in which it is contained in example water kerosene turpentine etc gases they have neither de definite shape nor a definite volume example hydrogen oxygen carbon dioxide etc further fluidity is the property of a substance which can flow freely from one place to another example liquids and gases hence liquids and gases are called by a common name called as fluids which means to flow freely from one place to another to understand this it is essential for us to explain the kinetic theory of matter according to the kinetic theory of matter matter is composed of very tiny particles called molecules the chemical properties of a substance depends upon the composition of its molecules the physical properties depends upon the forces between its molecule and the distance separating them the molecules are in constant motion the average kinetic energy of molecules depends upon the temperature greater the temperature greater is the energy of its molecules on the other end the forces of attraction or forces of cohesion which exist between the molecules of same substance that is forces of cohesion are always greatest in solids weaker in liquids and negligible in gases the collision between the molecules are perfectly elastic there is no energy loss in the collisions in other words in collision between the molecules their momentum and kinetic energies are conserved they are not changed that means it remains constant on the basis of kinetic theory of matter we can explain the behavior of the states of matter for example the molecules of a solid are closely packed and the cohesive forces are very large the molecules are not free to move hence solids have definite shape and volume in liquids the molecules are further apart and cohesive forces are weak consequently the molecules are free to move within the liquid hence liquids has definite volume and no definite shape in gases the molecules are far apart and cohesive forces are negligible the molecules are entirely free to move about hence gases have no definite shape or volume now let us understand what is elasticity the property of a body by virtue of which it attempts to regain its original shape and size when the deforming forces are removed is called as elasticity for example consider a steel wire which is fixed at one end and the weight is applied at the free end when the weight is applied at the free end due to the load the molecules of the wire are pulled apart and a slight extension is produced that is the length of the wire increases slightly at the same time when the load is removed the molecular forces restore the molecules of steel wire to their normal state consequently the wire will regain its original length this behavior of the wire is due to its elastic property the greater the elasticity of a body greater is its tendency to regain its original shape and size if the load on the wire is increased gradually 
the length of the wire also increases gradually the finally the wire will break at a particular load on the other end the property of a body by virtue of which it has no tendency to regain its original shape and size is called as plasticity for example wet clay shows high degree of plasticity the wet clay once deformed has no tendency to regain its original shape and size now we shall discuss to understand elasticity it is essential for us to understand the concept of stress and strain first let us understand what is stress the stress is defined as the deforming force acting per unit area of a substance is called as the stress that is the stress is deforming force divided by area that is equal to f divided by a if f is the force a is the area of cross section the dimensional formula of the stress is given by m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 in other words it has one unit in mass minus one unit in length and minus two unit in time the si unit of stress is given by one newton per meter square it is a tensor quantity when the force is exerted at the rate of one newton per meter square then the stress is said to be one pascal the types of stress the different types of stress are longitudinal or tensile stress volume or compressive stress shearing or tangential stress the longitudinal stress is defined as if the deforming force produces the change in length of the body then the stress is said to be longitudinal or tensile stress longitudinal stress is given by f divided by a the volume stress if the deforming force which produces the change in volume of the body then the stress is called as volume stress volume stress is given by f by a where a is the area of each face of the cube shearing stress if the deforming force which produces the change in shape of the body then the stress is called as shearing or tangential stress now let us consider here if i consider a cube here a b c d is the face whenever the tangential force which when acting on the upper surface of the body then it moves through an angle theta that means it shears through an angle theta by moving its face from a to a dash by moving through the length l or b to b dash by moving through an angle theta similarly c to c dash or d to d dash by moving through an angle theta that means if a b c d is the original position on account of tangential force it shears through an angle theta by displacing its position from a dash b dash c dash and d dash so that means whenever it shears through an angle theta that is said to be shearing stress that is when the shearing force which when acting per unit area of the length to change the shape of the body is called as shearing stress or tangential stress where a is the face of a b c d of the cube 